Looks to me like we're going to have an interference between this spark plug boot and the throttle position sensor. All right. Maybe we'll, we'll step way out there and try something really crazy. Maybe, just maybe, I can get it to shrink. <clears throat> wow, that worked better than I thought. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. So I'm getting a little closer on my Frankenstein EFI project. Let's go ahead and slide this body down. Now I know that both of these still need to be cleaned. Oh no. Looks to me like we're gonna have an interference between this spark plug boot and the throttle position sensor. Slide that off. Let's pull the boot off just to see how it fits. This is actually how I had it test fit before. Oh yeah, everything slides into place and fits the way it's supposed to. There's clearly not enough room between this male distributor cap output and the throttle position sensor for a couple of reasons. One, I'm never going to get the boot on top of that. And two, I don't want the high voltage that this is dealing with right there next to this throttle position sensor. This is a TFI type distributor, and if it was a DuraSpark distributor, my solution would be a little simpler. All I would have to do is remove this larger distributor cap, remove the adapter, and then put an old school female cap on it. Now that would require me to change my spark plug wires, but it would be a simple solution. TFI, that's not a solution. Let's take a closer look at how I was able to convert this to this. And the real magic is this piece of plastic made by Tech Motion out of Calgary, Alberta. I ordered this online and basically what this is is an adapter that allows you to convert a TFI type distributor to an MSD type distributor cap, giving me the room that I need around this throttle position sensor. This is really a pretty straightforward install. All we have to do is remove the original distributor cap, remove the rotor, and then remove the two screws that attach this plastic piece to the body of the TFI. There, we should just be able to wiggle this out. And the new piece slips into place. Now, notice, if you look at the bottom side, we have a square section and a rounded section. And the same applies here. We've got a squared off section and a rounded off section so that you cannot install this incorrectly. We slide that into place. I can now use the screws that came with the kit to tie this adapter down. With the adapter in place, all we do is install this little spacer, also provided with the kit. The new rotor then slips down on the shaft over the extension piece. And from there, the cap can be put on. Piece of cake. I'm very happy with how all this fits together and this gives me a little more clearance. Now it's still a little closer than I would like it to be, but there's not a lot I can do about it. This is not a perfect situation, but it is significantly better and I think we will probably be okay. From there, it's as simple as transferring the plug wires to the new MSD cap keeping in mind that this terminal right here is one, even though it's not marked as such. I'm extremely happy with how all that came together. I now have a little more clearance between my throttle position sensor and my spark plug boots and disaster averted. I think we are ready to continue on with this project. Next, I think we'll get these cleaned up and get things reassembled so that we can get a whole lot closer to firing this up to confirm that yes, Frankenstein EFI is a viable option. So let's talk for a minute about the company that provided me this adapter. 
Now, when I say provided, I want full disclosure. I paid for this adapter. This is not a promo where I got parts for free and now I'm doing an ad for them. I paid for the adapter. I found TechMotion on YouTube. So there is a TechMotion channel that is the gentleman that made this adapter and I'm gonna put a link to that in the description. And then I was able to purchase the adapter through his Etsy account. That will also be in the description. If you have the opportunity, get over to his videos and check out his channel. He's doing a lot of stuff with his chassis dyno. Most of it tends to be more modern things or relatively modern. We're talking Fox Body Mustangs, uh, Lincoln Mark 7s, that kind of thing. But there's some older stuff on there. There's, there's really quite a variety. His channel is definitely automotive, but it's quite a bit different than mine. So if you get the opportunity, get over there and give it a look. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.